As you heard earlier in the show, today is Cinco de Mayo. And while some of the celebrations don't take place until May 13th, today's weekend warm up with Willikers is going to show us how to get the party started with a little help from Plaza Azteca. Welcome Tracy Lambert with Willikers and Victor Magana with Plaza Azteca, which is where we are. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much for having us out here to Plaza Azteca. Yeah, it's good to be here. It's Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, thank Cinco you. Cinco de Mayo, let's get the party started. Exactly. We have three different drinks to go through using tequila. So first, starting with the Paloma. Victor, tell me what's in this drink. So in this drink, we're using fresh uh, grapefruit. We're using fresh lime juice, pinch of salt, and grapefruit soda too. I like, I like how you're using fresh stuff. I can imagine it's going to be yep. pretty good. Always fresh, always, yeah. So the tequila in this, Tracy, tell us a little bit more about why we would use this type of tequila. So in this one, we're using a Blanco, and Blanco typically is like the essence of the agave. So it, it's what it is when it comes straight off the still. So you're not getting any of that wood to mellow it out. You're not getting any other influence in there. It is just the agave as it is. So it kind of gives you the, the natural character of the spirit. So it goes well with grapefruit and all yep. the fresh ingredients. Again, yep, fresh. Yep. yep. All right, well, cheers. Let's try it. Cheers. Happy Cinco de Mayo. That is so good. Very good. The tequila really goes down smooth, too. It's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, when sometimes you make a drink and the tequila is really strong in there and you can really taste it, it really blends nicely. Yeah, it really plays nicely with the yeah. grapefruit there. It's good. It's yeah, good. and the grapefruit is the perfect perfect flavor to add with this, yep. I feel it's like. It's a perfect, uh, good combination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very, very smooth. All right, so moving on to the next one. We're doing a margarita. What's in this one, Victor? So on this one, we're using... Uh, Fresh lime juice, again, agave nectar, and fresh orange juice. That's it. It's very simple. Orange juice. And we use, we're using that reposado tequila with some uh, gram manier. Reposa reposada. Yes. So Tracy, tell us more about using this in the margarita. So reposado kind of takes your blanco. That Everything starts with that blanco tequila, and then you age it in wood. So for reposados, it's got to be at least two months up to a year depending on the, the different producer. Um, this one actually is one of my favorites. What reposados typically do is it takes that agave character and blends it in with the wood and you get a nice blend of both so nothing's overpowering. It's very balanced, uh, very approachable. And actually in almost every one of them, the reposado of the lineup is almost always my favorite. Really? Yep. Yep. Just having that little bit of flavor from that it aged just, wood. Yep, you don't lose the agave character and right. it's not overpowered by the wood. Once right. you start getting into the older stuff, it can get really sweet and it just kind of starts to taste more like other things besides tequila. You kind of lose the, the spirit of it. So when you say wood, that makes it more sweeter. Yep, that's, uh, so a lot of tequila is aged in like ex-bourbon barrels and mm -hmm. stuff. So you start to take on that whiskey flavor. So like your caramel, your vanilla, yep. that kind of stuff. All right, well, cheers. This is like bigger than my face. <laughs> Gonna have to be careful going in for a cheers in this one. Cheers. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever had a margarita with orange juice in it before. Never? And I really like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. It is really good, I think. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm never gonna have a mimosa again because I'm just gonna go straight to this. <laughs> yep. Way, way, way better. So, so good. Again, not overpowering, but I can tell what you mean by getting a little bit sweeter Yep. with that tequila. All right, yep. let's go to the last one. So this is an old fashioned. Mexican old fashioned. Mexican old fashioned. Made with tequila, some uh, bitters, and it's like a very simple recipe, like original old fashioned, but made with tequila. And I'm using chocolate bitters and angostura bitters. Chocolate bitters? Yep. Okay, I like the sound of that. You had me at chocolate. Yep. <laughs> All right, so the tequila that we're using in this, tell me more about this one, Tracy. So this is an Anejo, and kind of like what we talked about with the starting to introduce wood. So Anejos are one year and older, so mm -hmm. you got a lot more of that oak expression on the tequila. Um, so that agave starts to get dialed back a little bit, and the oak starts to come more forward. So you get a lot more of those sweet notes, uh, a little more of a whiskey kind of a profile for what kind of most people are used to right now. Mm -hmm. So using it in an old fashioned is a, a perfect way to, to use an Anejo tequila. 
Now, we've talked in the past before, Tracy, about how I'm not a huge fan of old fashions, but then you brought one on. It was a yeah. different type, and I was blown away because it did not taste like a normal old fashioned. So I'm excited to try another one. I hope you, I hope you like this one. Cheers. I think I might like it. It smells good. Ooh, that is good. Now, I don't know if it's because you told me there's chocolate bitters in there, but I do get that chocolatey taste. Yeah, that dark chocolate. And I feel like I would still taste that even if you didn't tell me that you use chocolate bitters. Mm hmm. That's really, really good. Mm hmm. Very tasty. Okay, so now we've tried three different drinks using three different types of tequila. Now we need to know how we can celebrate Cinco de Mayo. So, what do you guys have going on? So, we have a bunch of stuff going on over at Willikers. We've got Plaza Azteca is going to bring over a taco bar for us uh, on at 4.30. Uh, it's going to be there until it's gone. So, if you're there at 4.30, you'll probably get some tacos. If you're a little later, maybe not. So, hurry in. Get there as close to 5 o'clock as you can to get some good tacos from Plaza Azteca. Uh, we're going to also have some walk-around margaritas, uh, some walk-around uh, Mexican beers for uh, Cinco, and then um, just a ton of tequila samplings going on. Um, it'll be a, it should be a really fun day in the store, but a lot to do, but sounds like it. What about you, Victor? What's happening here? So we're going to have, uh, specials on, on house margaritas and a uh, beer too. So come and celebrate with us. Too. And you have flights that you can do, we do, right? We do. We have a margarita flight, which is very, very popular here. Uh, all of, all of our margaritas are made with fresh ingredients, every single one. So some, some of them are organic. So we try to make our, our whole menu, our margarita menu, just simple and, and very refreshing and, and just fresh ingredients. No margarita mix, no sweet and sour. Well, I think they were all tasty. It's hard to choose my favorite. I think I'm going to go with the margarita, though, for a final cheers before we send it off to break. So cheers. So we all grabbed a different one. Cheers. cheers. Thank you so much for having us Thank out you. here today. Thank you for having us here. Willikers is Sioux Falls' largest liquor shop. It's honestly unlike anything you've ever seen before, so stop and see it for yourself. They're located at 3625 West Devera Drive in Sioux Falls, and you can find their specials and selection on their website at willikers.com. They're open seven days a week, and curbside service is available. Whatever you're looking for, they can help you start your weekend warm-up at Willikers. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by Willikers. Stop by their liquor superstore in Sioux Falls, South Dakota today to browse endless aisles and a walk-in beer cooler of everything liquid and delicious. Willikers selection is intoxicating.